There is no shortage of really fantastic command line applications that we have available to us on Linux. Today I came across a really fantastic radio station player that you use right at the terminal. You can play from thousands of different internet radio stations across the world. You can not just play the radio stations, you can actually record the stations if you want to. This program is called Radioactive, and today I'm going to show you how to install it and use it on Ubuntu 23.10. So I'm going to pull up my VM here of the latest version of Ubuntu. So let me pull up the Firefox browser here, and let me zoom in here. Of course, this is GitHub. This is where the source code for Radioactive Active is hosted. You can see Radioactive play and record any radio station around the globe right from your terminal. And it's got pretty good documentation here. There's a video uh, demonstrating some of the functionality. Of course, you've got a table with various flags and options you can give it. It's actually not a terribly complicated program. I will say, though, getting it to install on your system and work properly can be a chore because you have to install it using pip. PIP is a Python related uh, package manager because Radioactive being a rather new program, it's not going to be in your Linux distributions repositories. Even on Arch, I couldn't find an AUR package for Radioactive. So even on Arch, you would have to install it via PIP. And PIP has various dependencies. Not only that, Radioactive itself also has some dependencies that you have to install to get this thing to work. So let me show you how to actually get this installed. So let's go ahead and fire up a terminal. So let me open the terminal and I'll zoom way in so you can see the commands I'm gonna run. Now according to the GitHub page, how you install this should be using pip. So you run the command pip3, so this is the pip uh, Python 3 version. pip3 install space dash dash upgrade space and then the program name radioactive and if i hit enter i'm going to get an error here on ubuntu because ubuntu out of the box is quite minimal it's not going to have pip already pre-installed it's not going to have a lot of python libraries already installed we're going to have to install some stuff ubuntu is not alone in this many distributions out of the box are not going to have pip installed so let's go ahead and install pip using the apt package manager so sudo apt install and the apt package manager it's nice enough actually just to give us the command so I could have actually just done a copy and paste sudo apt install python3 dash pip and it's going to install a number of dependencies for pip this will take about a minute or so to install so pip has finished installing if I up arrow to go back to my previous command pip3 install dash dash upgrade radioactive it should work now right well let's hit enter and no we actually get an error so if I move my head out of the way and scroll back up it's going to complain many distributions now when you try to do a pip install they're going to complain that you need to have a virtual environment set up and it even gives you the command you need to use to set up a virtual environment for your pip programs so i'm going to go ahead and create a um, a directory for this virtual environment so python 3 dash m v e n v for virtual environment and then the path to some directory that's going to be the virtual environment i'm actually just going to call it v e n v this will be in my home directory here slash home slash dt slash v e n v would be the full path and I get an error when I try to run that command because you actually have to have the uh, virtual environment program installed on your system. And once again, uh, the package manager here in this time, Python, is letting us know we need Python 3-venv, that package, installed. So let me do a sudo apt install Python 3-venv. So now that we have these dependencies installed, we've installed pip and we've installed venv, we should be able to actually install radioactive now. So I'm going to up arrow and I'm going to go back to creating that virtual environment. It should work and it looks like that command succeeded. If I do an ls, you will see I have a directory now called venv. So that's that Python virtual environment. And now if I up arrow, I get back to the pip install dash dash upgrade radioactive command, but do not run this command this way because this will not work because now we have to use this virtual environment. So venv slash bin, there's a directory called bin in the virtual environment directory, and then pip 
pip not pip3 just pip install dash dash upgrade radioactive and now radioactive installs just fine so let's go ahead and try to run radioactive so i'm going to type v e e n v so the path to the virtual environment v e n v slash bin slash radio is the name of the radioactive binary and if i don't give it any other arguments and i just hit enter and it's going to give us a, a, a little welcome message here you can see a, a description the uh, creator of the program the link to the github but really nothing else if i up arrow and do the radio command space h for help you can see we actually get some of the most useful flags and options available to us one of the most useful ones is going to be the search functionality right because most of the time, especially when you first install this program, you're going to be searching for radio stations. So I'm going to search and I'm going to search for any radio station that has 80s in the name. I'm a child of the 80s. Well, I was actually born in the 70s, but you know, I grew up in the 80s. So I really love 80s music. And you can see we get a table here of the search results here. I'm going to zoom out so the table looks correct. It gives us a hundred uh, results here for the search term 80s and in the first column you have an ID and the ID what you can do if I scroll back you can see type the result of the ID to play so maybe I want to play ID 100 here big R radio 80s FM so 100 but before I hit enter on this I want to make sure to uh, turn the sound off or at least make it very low because of obviously this music would be copyrighted I don't want to get a strike here on YouTube but if I hit enter on a hundred it's going to start playing except in Ubuntu especially the latest Ubuntu which is a really minimal install they don't even have FFmpeg installed on the latest Ubuntu 23.10 now most Linux distributions are going to have FFmpeg already pre-installed because they'll already have audio players and video players that depend on FFmpeg already installed but Ubuntu has has no multimedia players at all installed. So let's do a sudo apt install ffmpeg. And now that we have that installed, I'm going to up arrow again and do the uh, radio space dash dash search for the search term 80s. I get the same search results. I'm going to type uh, 100 for the ID of the station to play. Give it a couple seconds and I should start hearing some music. I'm pretty sure it is playing. You guys probably can hear it. I hope not. But I can turn it up to where I can hear it. Yeah, it's definitely playing. Now, if I hit Q for the next command, Q to quit, it terminates that stream. So it basically kills that radio station from playing. So that's essentially the most common usage probably for uh, radioactive here. One thing I could do if I go back and search for the same search term, 80s, and I do 100 to play that stream, uh, the next command I could perform would be how about F for favorite? And you can see current station added to your favorite list. That's right. There is a favorite list. Now, Q to quit that stream from playing. And if I up arrow and do the radio command space dash dash list, you can see we have a table now of our favorites. Anything that we've added to the favorite list. And right now, of course, I only have the one radio station. And if you want to play a specific radio station maybe you already know the url or maybe you get the url because you do the list command to get your favorite radio stations what i could do is i could just highlight that url here in the terminal and i could do a Control shift c to copy Control shift v to paste and then radio dash dash play and then that url and then it will just specifically play that stream or you could go get a, a radio station URL off the internet. Now one other thing you could do, that station is playing in the background right now. Say I want to record that station. Well you have this command here, RF for record to file. Let me hit enter on that and then it's going to ask for the output of the file name. I'll just call the file output. And right now it's going to start recording that station as it's playing. Until I stop it, it's going to keep forever recording that station. It's writing that to a file called output.mp3. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit Q to quit on that and then Q again to quit out of that entirely ls and you can see um, there's nothing here in my home directory. Let me see where it wrote it to. It wrote it ah by default it writes it into your music directory slash radioactive. Very cool. So let's cd into music radioactive do an ls well 
ls and there is output.mp3 and i could test to see if it actually succeeded in recording that i don't have any multimedia players installed well i did install ffmpeg so we do have the ff play command so if i ff play output.mp3 yeah it is playing if i turn the volume up just to verify yeah it was definitely recording that radio station so let me kill that now let me cd space dash to go back to the last directory we were in before we cd'd into music slash radioactive which would have been my home directory i'm gonna up arrow one more time and let's get the dash dash help list or instead of typing all that out a simple h would have also given us uh some help information but h gives us the short form dash dash help gives us this nice tabled layout of all the commands and you can see there's some things you can do for adding a favorite by the way sometimes you want to clear your favorites list and there is the dash dash flush command for that so if i up arrow and do dash dash list this is a list of all our favorites and say i have i don't know 10 50 stations, whatever it happens to be in a favorite list, but maybe I want to clear that favorites list and start all over. Well, I could do dash dash flush and all entries in the favorite list have been deleted. Now, when I run dash dash list, you can see your favorite station list is below, but you have no favorite stations. So that's just a little bit of what you can do with this really neat little Python program, rather new, radioactive. You can find it on GitHub. I'm going to link to their GitHub in the show description. I will say it's under active development, so I'm sure a lot of things are changing underneath the hood with each new release so be prepared for some changes in future releases now before i go i need to thank a few special people i need to thank the producers of this episode and of course i'm talking about the producers of the show gabe james matt paul west armor dragon commander angry george lee methos nate erion paul peace arch and fedora realities for less red profit roll and soul Astery tools devil the war gentoo and ubuntu and willie these guys they're my highest tiered patrons over on patreon without these guys this quick look at the command line radio station player radioactive it wouldn't have been possible the show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen all these names you're seeing on the screen right now these are all my supporters over on patreon i don't have any corporate sponsors if you like my work and want to see more videos about fantastic free and open source software like radioactive subscribe to distrotube over on patreon peace guys the 80s was clearly the best decade for music